bed is an understatement. Me and Ben were up before five, but this is a journey I've been so excited for. I've been apprehensive for, for months and months. So we're headed down to Aerial Motor Company, a place I went back in the summer and I test drove the Aerial Nomad. You might know Aerial as a insane, very cool British car manufacturer. They make the iconic Atom track car, which is also road legal, and the Nomad, which is the one that Ben and I went and had an absolute blast in, smashing through puddles. Here's some clips, it was just the best fun day. That was their demo car. And throughout that process, even before going, I kind of had it in my head that I'd love to one day own one. And I actually pulled the trigger on one. Whilst there that day, I didn't want to say, because it was kind of unsure whether I was going to get a build slot off of someone else who'd canceled, things like that. Because they honestly get built from scratch. Like the, sh the, the frame is welded together at a different metal fabrication place. It's shipped to Ariel and there they build the entire car that I've spec'd. You tick boxes on a spreadsheet, it's the most surreal thing. I never thought I'd buy a brand new car, but I'm stood at Fleet Services and we're on the way down there now for 9 a.m. where I'm gonna pick up my one, which I've fully spec'd. We'll look through it when I get there, but it's gonna be the fastest one they can possibly do. It's supercharged, it's all black, it's gonna look insane. I can't wait to see it. I've only seen a, a few WhatsApp photos to us from Henry, who runs the show there, so let's get down there. I hope I wake up a bit. Buzzing. I am buzzing. <laughs> and then I've got to drive it home. And it's two degrees today, it's got no roof, it's got no doors. I'll be on my own, because Ben's gonna drive this back, I'll drive that back. I might not make it, but if I do, it's gonna be the funnest thing I've ever bought, hands down. No question, it's gonna be the coolest thing ever, I can't wait. I can't believe it's happened. 2022, the year of the Nomad, let's go. <laughs> We're here then. Five minutes late, but they have just opened. This is the first day that Ariel are open of 2022. And my car's the first one to go out of the showroom of the, whatever you want to call it, the factory. This is where everything's built by hand. All the cars leave from here. They go all over the world, in fact. And the Nomad, Henry's just sent me a photo, is behind that door and ready to go. This will be the first time I've seen it in the flesh. First time I've seen even one single part of it in the flesh since I was down here months ago to drive the demo one, which I'm excited to see the differences today, actually. So I've actually forgotten what a nomad looks like. I just, <laughs> I've been waiting and waiting and waiting with so much anticipation. So I don't know if it's actually lined up to come up. I'm gonna give Henry a call now and the next shot will be this beast in the flesh. <laughs> Here we go. I can see it. Can you? Yeah. The suspension looks, oh, it looks amazing. No, I'm not gonna look. It's got the four lights on top too. That's like it. The full light rig, yeah. <gasps> Which I guess are LEDs on this one. That's what I expect. That's it running. Ooh. Let's have zero miles and here we go. Oh. Hello, mate. <laughs> the most British morning I've ever heard. Oh my god. Alright mate? Yeah, how's it going? How are you doing? Yeah, good. Wow, look at how sick it is. <laughs> It looks so different to the demo one, doesn't it? Does it look better in the yeah, better than flat, it does I'm in the stoked pictures? With flat. I'm so, so, so happy we went with black. And Olin's. That was a big, big quandary. What to do about suspension, wasn't it? It was. If we had Many a lot, hours. exchanged a lot of phone calls. <laughs> Fox is softer, Olin's is cooler, matches my bike. I mean, it's, it's an off-road car. You saw how we drove the demo one, and I found out through Henry how long it took to clean the demo one after we'd yeah, finished up gets, the Play. They get quite grotty. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so good off-road, but we kind of, even that day, Ben, it took us an hour to drive to the off-roading, didn't it? So yeah. we're going to spend most of the time on the road in it and tracks. It looks crazy. It only just looks better. And one day I'll put my bike on the back and then it'll all be on brand. Okay, I'll calm down a bit now. <laughs> that, honestly, for me, that, that scenario that just happened, I never imagined would happen. I remember saying to myself and to friends and family, my whole life, like, I'll never buy a brand new car. It, it seems not economically viable, it's not something I imagine I'll ever be able to achieve. But I've not only like bought this car, I've spec'd it, designed it, learned about it. I didn't design it, so I've designed like the colours <laughs> and things, you know, which isn't very imaginative either. But just the whole thing is like, it's blown my mind. And then watching it being driven out of effectively what is a workshop and showroom, 
seeing all the guys in there building other customers' cars, the Atom, the Nomad, it feels extremely special. The drive home shortly will not feel special. <laughs> Me and Ben are, are shivering and we only stood here. I've got to do three and a half hours. But this <laughs> is my aerial Nomad. First time I've said that. It's the first time I've seen any of it in the flesh. This car, for those of you who have never heard of what this car is, this is the brainchild of Henry Siebert Saunders. Ariel's a family business. Henry was the one who just drove the car out then. And the way he describes it, and every time I spoke to him on the phone saying, I'm worried about having all this power, or car that weighs so little, what tires should I get? What this should I get? He kept saying the same thing. Matt, it's designed to do skids. All you're gonna do is skids. It's just going to drift and then it will drift more. It will spin the wheels in fourth gear. Today, it will might potentially spin the wheels in fifth gear. And uh, it's what it is, it's what it's made for. It's like a race car, but also an off-road car. It's road legal. Will you ride, drive on the road? It's all these questions, all these cacophony of strange emotions when I look at it. I mean, it has a snorkel because <laughs> I mean why is it why is a, a track car got a snorkel it, it, it's pulled and dragged in every direction but that just makes it the coolest thing ever and a lot of you will not have heard of it because there's less than 200 in the whole world there's between Henry said there's between 150 and 200 of them and this is the first car that's coming out of this workshop this year that's 2022 aerial nomad in satin black I went I weighed up whether to get matte black satin black gloss black the bonnet, which is probably the smallest bonnet in the world, it's like a motorbike fairing, is gloss black. But I think the contrast between that, this, the other body, the arches is fantastic. I'm really sold on the colour and I can't stress again how happy I am with Olin's. When I have my bike on the back, which has Olin's on, and this has Olin's on, it's going to look so factory, so race, so cool. It's like the, this is the mountain biker's dream car because surely just that idea of breaking traction, getting traction, driving a go-kart on the road is fantastic. It's going to be so different to anything I've ever driven. It's rear wheel drive. So options, I've got a winch which can be battery operated, like remotely, but while sat in the car, you can pull yourself out of ditches. Henry has just explained to me, you can run the winch under the car to pull it out backwards, sideways, upwards, side. You can, it'll actually pull itself up a tree, like a spider. <laughs> but he then, in theory, and then he said, but Matt, I just must suggest if you do do that, careful because the engine doesn't really like running when it's upside down so he keeps reminding me that he probably thinks I don't know anything but I don't so it's good I know that because I'd have pulled it up a tree um, these are going to come in handy on the way home today that will keep a bit of road water splash spray out of my legs armpits crotch groin but I mean look at it it's a two-seater with these epic plastic seats buckets which are adjustable we have to actually use allen key bolts to move the seat I love how mechanical that is there's the harnesses it's got a handbrake a six speed manual gear knob and a hydraulic handbrake and that is going to be like that's what makes it the drift car isn't it that's been <laughs> yeah. put in deliberately who makes a car and puts that in it without <laughs> wanting it to do 360s in the road the steering wheel this you can't really get in and out without taking the steering wheel off it's so awkward to get in i think last time we went through the roof didn't we ben show us how you get in mate well i'm going to go in through the top no he said two legs first two legs first <laughs> can you hold that yeah. I'm gonna swing in. Swing? Oh. <laughs> there you go. Pass me that. I started off really well, but then looked really bad. Do you like my car, Ben? <laughs> canoe or car? <laughs> canoe, it was a canoe last time. We, it's, we used it as an amphibious vehicle. Oh, you can get it as a sequential gearbox as well, which was, I think it had a paddle here, didn't it? There was yeah. one inside last time. So it's like, only has one paddle for upshift and downshift. And I remember saying to you how rally that would feel like, <laughs> and all that going on. <laughs> Don't know why I thought I was gonna be like Colin McRae, but I remember also Henry said, I think with all those options, it might even cost a hundred grand. Do you know what he said as well? Oh, I mean, and you can't clean it. Yeah, you can't gearbox, go through water, can yeah, you? Yeah, the gearbox is all here and it can, it can get water in it. I'm really happy I've got manual. I've not driven a manual car for a long time. I think I'm just gonna have to learn to do all that heel toe rubbish. It suits you that. Yeah, thanks. Three pedals, it's this mental. amazing carbon dash. He said this is a brand new display out of the Atom 4, which is the new Atom. There's the winch controls. We've got start. I just love how F1 all this looks. You know, it's as close to F1 or what would you say? Like a GT3 car. I mean, it's, it's just a race car. Yeah, that, that's what yeah. I was going for. Now, let me turn the ignition on. How do I do that? Ben, let me show you the lights. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that looks yeah. so sick. Go around the front. These top lights, ready? Yeah. Oh! How good does that look? They're like angel eyes. Then that's on on, then that's full on. 
Mate, they're so bright. Put Which full on. better, like that? Put full on again. Whoa. Cool. Mate. Oh my god. Which Hang on. Better? Wait, actually, let me just try. Let me get a picture. <laughs> we winning. You are winning, my friend. Oh. Is it lit? It's <laughs> lit. <laughs> so, I think you turn it off. Same button. Just gonna jump Let's watch this. And then we'll look around the back where all the magic happens. You're gonna have to stretch every morning before you get in it. Yeah, true. I have to stretch to get out of it when I wrap it around an oak tree. <laughs> oh, don't, please don't. <laughs> um, look at that. Oh, so I've got 15 inch wheels, which are here. Yeah. And then it's got AP racing brakes. So these are like the all singing and dancing, bells and whistles brakes, best ones. And I, I guess weighing only 750 kilos, it can stop really fast, but it also doesn't have traction control, doesn't have ABS. So it will, he said it's designed to do skids. I guess to stop it, it will also skid. That, it just reminds me of all my bikes. Rear shock on my bike is the TTX. Oh, that's so cool. I've got the same thing on my car. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, the back no, is insane. Wheel. That's an option. This big bar's an option which is important because when I mount a bike rack, which they're currently working on like their last final prototype bike rack, it mounts to that, clamps to that and that bar and your bike will sit there and there, either side of the spare wheel. You're out of breath, you're so on. excited. I Am love I? it. Yeah. It was climbing out. <laughs> oh, and I got a plate too. Oh yeah, the plate's so rad. It's a K24 Honda engine, which is a 2.4 Honda engine, four cylinder, which has a VTEC. And when we drove the demo one, it was about 235, 245 horsepower. Mm -hmm. It was so fast, like it took our breath away, didn't it? Yeah. And then I said to Henry, that's absolutely fast enough. And he kind of, he didn't twist my arm, but he said, do you want to get a supercharger fitted <laughs> and just try it? No one's ever taken one off. Everyone's always kept it on and said it's the best thing ever. So this one, doesn't weigh much more. I think the supercharger weighs 20 kilos, but it now has 300 <laughs> horsepower. And at this weight and that power, that's the same power to weight ratio as my Lamborghini Perf Huracan Performante, which has 640 horsepower. So you can see what a difference weight makes when it's balanced against power. This is going to be just so horrendously fast. Lethal. And so dangerous to drive home today, this cold and wet. <laughs> And it has a snorkel. I don't know what else to say. I guess we just need to do another video driving it. We'll take it off-road, on-road, drifting. Yeah. Let's do track days. This is the, just the coolest thing ever. And 2022 is going to be fun. So fun. Mate. So, so fun. It's actually and insane. I've got, if I do put it in a ditch on the way home, I've got a winch to pull myself out. I don't even <laughs> need to ring you for help. Yeah. It's oh, really mate. Cool, isn't it? I'm, I'm really proud. So happy for you. I'm and it very was built, proud. Yeah, it was all built by the same guy, Kelvin Marshall. His name, he's got a badge there. Aerial Motor Company Limited. He's built this thing for me. I just met him and he's a really, really nice guy. He said he hasn't built one for a while and I checked and he wasn't hungover or drunk on any of the days during the build. So <laughs> guessing it's all bolts tight. <laughs> I did ask him that. He said, no, felt pretty all right. <laughs> It's got heated windscreen, weirdly. Funny what like the things it has and the things it doesn't. It doesn't have ABS to keep you alive, but it has yeah. a heated windscreen to keep you visible. The windscreen was bad last time, wasn't it? Fogging Do you remember? Up. When yeah. we and we'd never turn that on. Let me just see what the lights look like. Full full lights is insane. Yeah. Look at it. Oh, I can feel warmth. Can you? Yeah, move up and down. You can feel from the main lights. Yeah, can yeah, you? Yeah, they're hot. I'm gonna just pull over on the way home and warm my hands. Whoa! Yeah, that's a good way of warming your that's hands. That's actually really good right now. I actually would rather use the exhaust. Surely that would be the best way. Probably better, yeah. one on each. I can reach both. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. Well done. Serious piece of equipment, this. Um, yeah. Mental. So lucky. No, you've earned Just it, feel mate. lucky. And hopefully, like, I'm going to take it to bike parks and things. If I meet some of you guys out there, I want to take people for rides because I'd have loved that. And if I could make someone smile just by doing a donut, then... <laughs> Yeah, I'd love the opportunity to do so. Thank you, Ariel, for painting it black. <laughs> Can you imagine if I went with orange? Oh. I thought about orange. No, 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 no. That would have been bad. It would have been really bad. It looks mega. Yeah, they've been the best company ever to work with. It's like ringing a mate who says, just reassures you that you should stay alive while driving it and it will be the best thing I've ever bought and I, I completely believe him. It's just so cool. <laughs> Don't know what it is still. What is it? How would you describe it to someone? Uh, supercar buggy. Yeah, super buggy. Super buggy, yeah. Right, let's do this. I'm going to get on the road to get back before it's dark. And then the next video will be me driving it. If you like cars, you probably hated this video because I don't know enough. <laughs> but I will learn, I promise. We'll discuss pros, cons, advantages, disadvantages. But yeah, check out the business. Check out their YouTube videos. 
and yeah, keep an eye out on what we do with this. I'm speechless, it's great. <laughs> Thank you, legends. Ha, ha, ha.